Welcome back to the Magic Garage, guys, it's Nick here, and today I'm going to be revealing a car trick to you all called the World's Fastest Car Trick. This is my version of the trick, it's really cool, uh, there's no gimmicks, it's impromptu, you can do it to anyone, anywhere, and uh, you also get great reactions out of it, it's also really simple, so if you, you don't need to, you know, know any really complicated slates or anything for it, there's one slate you use, which I am going to be teaching you, uh, only take you a couple of minutes to learn, and then you'll be able to go out and perform this trick before you know it, so this is the world's fastest car trick, let's have a look at it, and I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, so let me show you what the world's fastest car trick looks like. So what I have here is just a regular deck of bicycle playing cards. And what I'm going to get you to do is just go ahead and select any card. So let's use, I don't know, this one. So if you just have a look at your card right there. I'm not going to see it, but obviously I'm just going to get you to memorize that. We'll leave that there for the moment. Now I'm going to take the deck and put it into three different piles. Actually no, let's make it four. Four different piles, just like so. I'm going to get you to place your card on top of any pile you wish. So let's see, let's say this one. And we'll just lose the card in the pack, just like so. And we'll also give the deck a few simple cuts. Now guys, if I actually spread the deck out here, spread it so you can see all the cards, you'll notice that they are all actually the right way up. But with a bit of magic, guys, all I do is simply snap my fingers and just like that, if I show you the deck once more, there is actually now one card that is face up in the pack. And that was your selected card. Alright guys, so now you've seen the performance of the world's fastest car trick, let me show you how to perform it. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there is one slate you are going to need for this effect. And it's actually called a reversal move. I think it's like a brownie or, or a browy reversal move or something. But I like to just call it the reversal move. And the way it works is like this. Okay? And so what you're actually doing is taking any card from the top, let's say it's a seven of clubs, and moving that to the bottom and therefore reversing it. Okay? Now, to do this reversal move, it's actually really simple. You're going to take the deck into Biddle Grip, okay, just like this. Then with your right hand, uh, your left hand, sorry, you're going to come into this gap and then you're going to pull that card out, just like so. And then by doing this, you can flip the deck over on top of it, okay? So let me show you from the front. Simply all I'm doing is pulling this card with my fingers, the card on top, and then flipping the deck on top of it. And at speed, it would look like that. Now, if done properly with the right distraction, no one's actually going to see this. In the video, I actually had to go like this and then do the reversal move in the uh, out of view of the camera because it was kind of hard for me to distract you guys um, in this small space that I have. Okay, so I just did that. So, you know, it, it, you'd still get an effect and you guys wouldn't see the move. However, when you're performing this to someone, it's quite easy to distract them and you simply do it as quick as that. Okay, so one more time, the reversal move, just like that. Now... I'm going to show you guys uh, my routine for this effect. So, first of all, have a card selected. Don't look at the card to get the spectator to look at it. So, we'll just use the nine of clubs here. You're then going to go ahead and place the deck in into you know three or four, or maybe even five if you want piles. We'll just use four piles here, like we did before. Then you're going to pick up. You're going to tell the spectator to point at any one of the piles. So let's use this one. And then you're going to place that selected card, obviously, that you haven't seen yet, on top of that pile. And now what you're going to do here, guys, is simply throw one of the other piles down on top like that, leaving a little jog. So that way I can actually still locate the selected card. You guys should know this move already, okay? So I'm not going to be teaching it here. If you don't want to uh, do it the way I do it, if you don't want to do this trick uh, the way I do it, simply make up your own routine because now you know how the move is done. You can simply come up with your own, but I'm just teaching you guys the way I do it. You know what, we'll leave the card face up just so it's a bit easier for you guys to see. Take your card and make sure you jog it, and we'll just get rid of the rest of the piles on there. Simply catch a break under that card, and then do a simple table cut down to the selected card to leave that on top. And then here, because obviously the card would look like this, you're gonna do the reversal move as you distract your audience. And then you're simply going to cut the deck and show them that one card is face up. <clears throat> so you can do it like that or you can do it the way I did it. 
and have the selected card on top, control selected card to the top. Show the deck is actually indeed face down. You know, if you're doing this uh, in the street, you could simply do a thumb fan of some sort. And you could say, but you guys haven't seen the world's fastest card trick, have you? And as you're saying that, that's when you do the reversal move. So you just bam, you've done the reversal move, and then simply cut the deck. And now you can once again fan it out, or you know, spread it out, or whatever. And actually reveal that there is one card face up in the deck. Okay? So that, guys, is the world's excuse me, the world's fastest card trick. A really cool trick. It's pretty simple and you do get really, really good reactions with this. Okay, so we'll just go over it one more time just so you guys know what's going on. Okay, so we'll go over it quickly. So have a card selected. Use this one. Make four or five or, you know, make some piles. Place the card on one of the piles. Jog the other pile. Boost the rest of the cards on top of the pack right there table cut or you know classic pass the selected card to the top simply show the deck then do the reversal move as you're distracting your audience cut the deck and then once again spread the deck out to show that there is indeed one card face up now guys is the world fastest card trick have fun with it and i'll see you all next time